Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about safety reporting in clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Welcome to our video where we aim to simplify complex topics for beginners in the field of clinical trials. Today, we'll be discussing a crucial aspect of clinical trials, safety reporting. Clinical trials are research studies that involve people and they are critical to developing new treatments for diseases. They provide important information about the safety and efficacy of new drugs or medical devices, meaning are they safe and do they work? However, conducting a clinical trial involves stringent regulatory aspects, as it's vital to ensure that the rights, safety, and well-being of trial participants are protected. What is safety reporting? Safety reporting in clinical trials refers to the collection, analysis, and dissemination of information about the adverse effects or any other safety-related issues that could arise during a clinical trial. It plays a vital role in ensuring patient safety, which is paramount in any clinical trial. This process is essential as it allows researchers and regulatory authorities to monitor the risk-benefit balance of a medicinal product during its development process. It also provides an early warning system for potential safety issues that may arise during a trial. But what is the purpose of safety reporting in clinical trials? The primary purpose of safety reporting is to track and monitor any side effects or adverse events that occur during a trial. It is not unusual for participants in clinical trials to experience side effects from the treatment being studied. These must be closely monitored and reported to ensure a comprehensive understanding of the treatment's potential risks. Safety reporting plays a significant role in determining the efficacy of a clinical trial. By identifying any adverse events, researchers can make informed decisions about whether a trial should continue or if modifications are necessary. Moreover, ethical considerations are an integral part of clinical trials. Safety reporting ensures that these ethical standards are upheld by prioritizing participant safety and making sure that all potential risks have been adequately communicated to participants. What are some key elements of safety reporting? Safety reporting encompasses several key elements, for example. 1. Adverse events. These are any untoward medical occurrences in a patient or clinical trial subject administered a medicinal product, which does not necessarily have a causal relationship with this treatment. 2. Serious adverse events. These are adverse events that result in death, are life-threatening, require hospitalization or prolongation of existing hospitalization, result in disability or incapacity, or cause a congenital anomaly or birth defect. 3. Unexpected adverse events. These are adverse reactions, the nature or severity of which is not consistent with the applicable product information. 4. Suspected unexpected serious adverse reactions. These are serious adverse reactions that are unexpected and may have significant implications for the risk-benefit assessment of the product. But how does the safety reporting process in clinical trials look like? The safety reporting process involves several steps. First, any adverse event occurring during a clinical trial must be promptly identified and recorded. The investigator then assesses the severity and likely association with the drug. This information is reported to the sponsor who is responsible for ensuring that all regulatory authorities, ethics committees, and other investigators are informed. Safety data is collected through various sources such as patient diaries, interviews with patients or their families, physical examinations, and laboratory tests. It is then submitted to regulatory authorities for review. What are the regulatory requirements for safety reporting? Different regions have different regulatory requirements for safety reporting. For example, in the US, 
the Food and Drug Administration FDA oversees safety reporting while in Europe. It's under the purview of the European Medicines Agency. These regulatory standards ensure that all safety information is documented accurately and reported promptly. Non-compliance can lead to penalties and could also compromise the validity of the trial. What are common challenges in safety reporting? Despite its importance, safety reporting can present several challenges. These include difficulties in determining whether an event qualifies as an adverse event or serious adverse event, attributing causality to the investigational product, and managing the vast amount of safety data generated. However, these challenges can be overcome with comprehensive training, clear guidelines, and efficient data management systems. In conclusion, safety reporting is a critical aspect of clinical trials, ensuring that patient safety is prioritized and that the risk-benefit balance of a new treatment is accurately assessed. While it can present certain challenges, understanding its importance and the processes involved can help overcome them. Remember, regulatory aspects of clinical trials are vast and complex, but with continued learning, you can navigate them with ease. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more insights into the world of clinical trials. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.